Janine and I'm reporting in about brand new perfume releases because it is the most important thing. No, it's not. I just want to have a conversation with y'all about some perfumes that I enjoy, that I like, that I think are maybe intriguing. And maybe you'll find that too. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> I love a good perfume release as much as the next perfume lover, but there's so many of them and not every perfume release is worth our attention. So I'm gonna keep track for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna get into some new releases that I think are worth a conversation, a deeper dive, a longer chat, because they're intriguing, they're interesting, and they speak to buyers like me who love a super feminine fragrance that isn't super overpriced. So let's get into it. Looks like I lost my so this video is not only to explore some new releases but some really novel ones that might give us an opportunity to spell a little bit different from the people around us now i am not a hater of celebrity or designer fragrances most of my collection is made up of those types of fragrances but occasionally we want something a little bit different that sets us apart from the people around us because of the scent that they give and this is an opportunity to get into some of those fragrances that aren't widely available but might be right up our alley first fragrance that i want to talk about about today is 22 Oris from Letta or is it Oris 22? One of the two. Now Stephanie Letta is the name behind this fragrance and she is an influencer primarily on YouTube but also on Instagram who released this fragrance and it is meant to be a sweet floral fragrance. So based on the name you can tell that the primary note is Oris and Oris is in the sort of same sort of scent family to things like Violet and Iris. So so these mildly powdery floral notes that are really pretty and feminine and soft and this is mixed with marshmallow so these gourmand elements bringing floral and gourmand together to create a beautiful combination now i've seen a handful of reviews and all of them have been really complimentary and i love to see that now here's the thing this is not a brand new fragrance right like this was released in december 2022 but it did not come across my radar at all i did not hear about it I I did not hear about it. I don't know how it completely missed me, but it did. But about a week ago, I started seeing a lot of content about this fragrance and I became intrigued by it. Now, here's the thing. Now, I understand that getting into the perfume space is cost prohibitive. It can be really challenging. It's not like lipstick where you can see on screen what exactly you're getting. With fragrance, you're really just taking a plunge, especially if you don't have a store you can walk into to test something. So I do think it's very brave. Whenever influencers, social media content creators, whatever, get into this space and try to bring us something a little bit special and a little something novel and something a little bit different. I am always encouraging of that. Um, just to, in that sort of family, I remember last year, Fudi Monet, she is the fragrance auntie on TikTok, she's also on Instagram, came out with her fragrance, Exalté, this sort of rose citrus fragrance that blew up last year and has continued to be just well praised by people in the perfume community but for being just a really lovely rose fragrance so if you've tried exalte let me know in the comment section what you think but i do love to see that where people can take a passion project like fragrances and make some of that passion come to life and bring it to the market i love to see it i love to encourage it and i think it's absolutely wonderful so even though 22 Oris or Oris 22 did not hit my radar till very recently. It is squarely on my radar now and I am intrigued about the idea of smelling a marshmallowy powdery Oris fragrance and maybe bringing that into my collection. It sounds lovely, it sounds very comforting and I would love to check that one out. Talk about Brown Girl Jane. And I am intrigued by this brand for a lot of reasons. What I'm most excited about is that even though the brand itself isn't new to me, I did a, a little bit of a short on them before, I am excited to see that they're out with their second collection because it means that people are buying the first one. So the second collection from Brown Girl Jane is called called 
day past midnight and it's all about times of day and the fragrances and the notes really reflect that but let's go back in time just a little bit so brown girl jane is a brand that was launched in 2022 by three black women we have Tybo Shump, Malika Jones, and Nia Jones. And all of that sounds really exciting to me because for the most part, the fragrance world isn't like the, the most diverse space, not just with who is making content about fragrances, but who is producing the fragrances as well. And so it is fantastic to see a little bit of difference in the space from this brand specifically. We love to see it. So last year, they came out with Wanderlust, their first line their introductory line i know the one that came across my radar first was one called casablanca so let me tell you a little bit about wanderlust so wanderlust was all about travel and different places in the world and what these specific locations gave in terms of energy and the kind of smells they would inspire so first you had lemu which is based on lemu kenya which was meant to give this kind of salty, fresh air kind of feel because it is a beach town. It is a seaside area. And the fragrance with the driftwood and the salt and the sand was meant to convey all of this. All of this sounds very intriguing to me. So that's Lemu. The second one was Bahia, based on Bahia, Brazil. So more tropical, more summery, sweeter tropical fruit kind of vibes. And I thought, that one sounded beautiful and of the ones that I wanted to try Bahia was by far the one that was highest up there for me personally the third one is Casablanca which is based on Casablanca Morocco and obviously it gives a more sort of Middle Eastern North African energy in the type of fragrance that it is in the way that it is blended so a lot more leather saffron spiciness in the fragrance a lot more woodiness to the fragrance the reason it even came across my radar is because I was looking for marshmallow fragrances at the time because I've gone through spurts where marshmallow all day every day and this has a marshmallow opening so even though it is a more unisex fragrance that has all of these sort of leathery elements to it it also had this balance of sweeter elements now i am happy to see that this first line of fragrances did well enough that there is a sophomore effort out here and i hope and i am excited to know that the brand is continuing to expand the new fragrances that they've recently released is part of a line that is called the day past midnight and it's meant to represent the different types of day and what kind of energy fragrance you would want to really give at that time so the first fragrance is dawn and it's meant to sort of symbolize the start of the day and it is a fruity vanilla green scent it's mostly a vanilla fragrance which makes me intrigued because y'all know how much i love vanilla fragrances but it's meant to be vanilla bourbon, vetiver, some other types of vanilla. There is also raspberry in this, some greenness in this, some citrus. It's meant to be the kind of fragrance to jumpstart your day because of how cozy and comforting, but also bright and pretty and sweet it is. And I think that sounds fantastic. It sounds like it's right up my alley. And it definitely fits with, you know, what you're trying to give at the start of the day. Now the next fragrance in that line is called Dusk and it's meant to represent winding down at the end of the day at bedtime and it's described as a santal nectar. So it is a sandalwood fragrance but what's most intriguing I think is the way that they combine sandalwood with lactonic notes so there is milk in this. So I think that's meant to represent the way that some people drink milk before bed to help them to relax and that is in here. We also have have some coconut as well for sweetness and some additional creaminess so based on the notes it sounds like a very creamy fragrance between the milk and the coconut but even sandalwood itself tends to be the creamier sweeter wood so I think the combination is meant to convey calm and coziness at the end of the day nothing too over the top bright and sweet just something very relaxing and I think based on the notes it seems like it would give that now the third fragrance in the line is called Dare and it's meant to represent sexy time, right? So y'all know what's the main note in here. I don't have to say it. Y'all know 
y'all can guess it yes it's cherry <laughs> it's always cherry cherry is the sexiest note it just is and of course it is a cherry fragrance but it's not just cherry it's cherry mixed with leather which I find kind of intriguing I think the scariest part right now is the black pepper in the opening here's the thing I love pepper and fragrance, especially pink pepper, but I sometimes find black pepper to be a little challenging because it can read a little savory to me. Mostly because like I use a lot of black pepper. I love black pepper a lot. I love the smell, the taste of black pepper in like regular cooking life. That when it's in fragrances, I can find it a little distracting. I can feel it almost like playing on my nostrils. I can smell like when it's black pepper, I can smell it. I can tell it's black pepper because of how my nose feels, not just what it smells like. And so that for me is a little bit. Bit. Mm, I don't know I don't know I don't know but the fact that it is a cherry fragrance means that I have to try it because what if it's a magical cherry fragrance now a lot of times cherry fragrances come with creamy creamy alternatives right like it usually finds a cherry with tonka or cherry with almond or cherry with coconut something that offers like a creaminess that rounds out the cherry in a way that makes it feel full and like you're falling into a bosom right just like soft place of juiciness to land but in this case what we have instead is pepper and lemon sorry um and leather which is meant to i think make it a little bit more daring out there a little bit sharper a little bit more in your face and I am intrigued by the idea I don't know what to expect I don't know if it'll be my thing but I'm definitely open to trying this now all their fragrances run about a hundred dollars which I think is for especially for an indie brand like very very affordable and I think what I will do personally is check out one of their discovery sets that has all six so three from the Wanderlust collection and the three from this new day past minute night collection just to see what they give and when I do that I will report back and let you know how they smell because right now I'm just excited that this brand even exists that these women are doing big things and that they're being successful I just wanted to keep going right and I want to be able to support that so yeah brown girl Jane new line that's out and worth checking out potentially I'm going to check it out at least I'm not telling y'all what to do with your money but I'm going to be checking it out and I'm, and I'm excited we're talking this honey next and this is a turkish brand that's been around for about 10 years and is releasing what they call their x collection to really mark this momentous moment right because lasting that long in the perfume world is no easy feat especially when you are a smaller brand so Nisane is releasing this X collection and it's meant to be a reimagining or a reinvigoration or just a representation of some of their most iconic and best-selling fragrances. So we have five fragrances in the X collection, all of which I'm intrigued by because of the descriptions for the alternatives sound kind of fantastic. So the first one I wanna talk about it's 100 silent ways now this has trended and trended and trended right and this is one of their vanilla fragrances and i like the idea that one of the fragrances they are willing to like revisit is 100 silent ways now the way that they describe it is that it doesn't depart from the original a ton it seems as if the only new inclusion is leather to this fragrance so whether you like the original or the x version that is forthcoming is really up to whether you like leather or not um for me i really enjoy the original so much i am not super motivated to jump out and try this x collection version but i might just sort of spring for the discovery set to test all of them to see what they give but that's just a heads up so the second one which is i think my second favorite fragrance from this honey is fanier flames and it is a tobacco heavy fragrance that mixes some beautiful tropical elements and some citrus fruit together with some florals to give us this beautiful smoky fragrance that a lot of men wear so I would say it is a unisex to masculine fragrance but as somebody who really really enjoys a tobacco fragrance anything that I can find that I can wear that I can layer I get excited about now what they describe as a sort of change with this one is the inclusion of more tropical elements like rum and coconut so for me that sounds like hello <laughs> yes 
yes i don't need you to change hundred silent ways but if you give me a boozier more coconutty creamier version of fan your flames i want to at least try it out and see what it gives but it sounds fantastic they're also doing a, a version of Hasidat, which I've never tested myself. I think it's a more masculine fragrance. I don't know a lot about Hasidat. I have not really looked into this one as far as like wanting to test it myself, but they're coming out with another version that is supposed to be a slightly more floral version of it. So I think they're trying to pull it in a more feminine direction. So if it is squarely a masculine fragrance, they are trying to make it a little bit more unisex so more women can, you know, buy into it. So Hasivat is also one of the ones that they are looking to shift. Um, I've seen some people haul Wulong Cha. I will link some of their videos below. And I have always been intrigued by this because it is a green scent. And I do really really enjoy a green scent specifically this is a tea scent and for me that is always like a good I love a green scent in general I love me some patchouli I love oak moss I love even cut grass but tea specifically especially when mixed with certain things like coconut or almonds or whatever gives a very comforting smell to me now I'm not sure what version of green we get from Wulong Cha based on the reviews I've seen it's closer to green tea versus milky green tea and so the newer version um, is meant to sort of cut through some of that greenness to add some tropical fruit to make it a little bit brighter and more fun based on the new description it sounds very different from the original like we're getting a kind of fresher yuzu heavy sort of tropical green scent versus a kind of sort of softer greener tea like calming chamomile type of scent either way both of those sound very delicious and intriguing to me so i'm excited to try both versions of wulang cha and i cannot wait till it's released now the last one that is forthcoming is ani now ani is i would say the male version of uh, of 100 silent ways like personally that's how i would describe but probably that's a terrible description now ani is another one of their vanilla fragrances right and it is the vanilla fragrance that i see a lot of men talk about and how much they swear by ani i see some women talk about ani but i on my for you page anyway i see a lot of men raving about ani it has a lot of heavy woods in it it has some leather in it and it does have some creamy sweet vanilla now the way that they talked about Honey Style and Ways, for example, about it not really changing a lot and them just sort of introducing this leathery element is very different from how they describe how Ani has changed and the fact that they've introduced like very bold citrus to a fragrance that didn't have a ton of bold citrus to begin with. So I don't know how that changed the fragrance significantly, but I think that if they're pointing that out, then it is worth noting. Um, but I do love uh, citrus in Inclusion, even to a vanilla fragrance I love a brighter opening so if that's the sort of direction they wanted to go in like I'm not mad at it at all which of these Nishane fragrances would you most want to try I think going into like the descriptions and the notes of the X collection I was most excited about 100 silent ways just because it is their best seller I have tried this before I think it is a lovely vanilla fragrance but their description of it being not that different from the original only the inclusion of leather which is supposed to make it a bit more sophisticated made it not as much of like oh i have to get this because it isn't so different but the new description of fanier flames is very intriguing to me because the addition of tropical elements like coconut and rum to this already sexy tobacco fragrance for me sounds like a total get so for me the one that i'd most want to test out it's probably Fanier Flames. Which one would it be for you? I'd love to know. Thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I'm really excited about all of these fragrances to test them out, see what they give, get into them just a little bit because they sound phenomenal. And I hope there's something here that's intrigued you as well. But if not, but I hope you at least enjoyed the video, enjoyed me chit-chit chatting about some of the fragrances that I would love to test out. 
if you enjoyed this video check out my last video where i tested fragrances i checked out a few niche and designer perfumes in that video and maybe there's something there that tickles your fancy even if it didn't tickle mine again i am janique and i really hope you keep coming back for more because i'm desperate for attention that's why i have this channel <laughs> bye y'all See you've been on the mind I've been seeing great lights But it's such a great